kids, welcome back to the channel. This is the remnants of the town of Sharples in southern Alberta, kind of near the town of Drumheller. Uh, it is an amazing spot. There's a P&H grain elevator here. There's a, an old barn stable here as well. A couple of outbuildings over there, but we can't go over to the outbuildings at all because there's uh, no trespassing sign. But we definitely can shoot that bad boy right there. That's what we're gonna do today. Hang tight, it's gonna be a good one. Let's walk around, we'll do a 360 of the green elevator here and see if we can find a good composition. Sunrise is at about 9.30, it's uh, about 8.15 now. So we're getting into golden hour now. I really came out here for golden hour. I love to have that uh, green elevator just basking in golden light. There won't be a sunset tonight with, with clouds and color, not that I can see. Uh, we're in a little bit of a coulee here, so it's ever up on the horizon. The wind is coming towards us, so there might be some clouds over there. I'm not sure, but let's take a walk around, see what we can find. Here's that outbuilding that I talked about in the intro, the old barn. Uh, I'm gonna just set up and see what kind of shot we can find here. Okay, so I'm going low for this shot on purpose because I want to get some of this wild grass in the shot as well. I got to slide out just a little bit. What I'm looking for is that sun on just the corner of the building there to kind of pop through just a, just a little bit. So it creates a nice little burst of, of light, adds a little bit of dynamic here. We'll take this shot and then we'll go set up for the for the main shot here because we're just about ready, I think. So two second timer. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's not so bad, eh? Get him a little more focused, a little more center. Got to make sure I'm straight using the level. Yes, and we'll pop it. There we are. And to make sure I've got it, I'm gonna do multiple exposures, one highlighting for the, one exposing for the highlights, one exposing for the shadows, one normally exposed. We'll stack them together just to make sure we've got the shot. And here we go. 1 25th of a second, F13, ISO 100, pop it. So now let's take that walk around the building. So I don't think this side of the building is going to be good at all because we're going to be backlit and I'd really like to get the soft red light uh, on the front of the building. So I think that's going to be our subject is the front of the building. I don't know if it's going to be that side or this side of the front of the building. I think over here is the better setup. So let's walk back over there.
This is why you get out early before the uh, actual sunset or sunrise or whatever time you want to shoot. Scoping out uh, compositions can be kind of grueling. So I'm thinking this would be the shot. Um, maybe a little more over this way, because like I said before, I like to get that building in a three quarter shot. So maybe over here is the shot I'm looking for. We are dialed in now. So the light is perfect right now. We're getting that, that really nice warm red light. Uh, I am gonna throw on a polarizer here just to, to bring out the, uh, the colors a little bit. So bear with me for one second here. So I'm slapping on that polarizer. And then I will dial in that blue. There it is. F8. Uh, where's my histogram? I'm going to underexpose just a little bit. Remember the trick of sunset photography to really get the warmth in the colors. Underexpose just a little bit. Two second timer I need to set. Okay, my two second timer's set. I've got it on live view just so I don't have to crunch down at all. Rule of thirds in effect, we're gonna shoot the right third of the, uh, of the frame. We're gonna have the right third of the frame where the, uh, where the grain elevator is. So uh, 1 25th of a second, ISO's 100, F8, two second timer, polarizer on. Let's pop it. Yeah, that's not so bad. I might come up a little higher. Now I'll move the shot over to the left side of the frame. Don't know which I'm gonna like more. A lot of people prefer stuff on the left. It's kind of how we read left to right. So let's just see what that looks like. I'm gonna put the elevator in the center of the frame for this shot. We're just up from where we were before. The, in the foreground, I don't know if you can see or not, but the grasses are catching some light now. So it's creating some nice little foreground interest. We'll shoot high first and then we'll try to get low here. So I gotta move fast because the sun is, is, is actually moving pretty quick and uh, I don't wanna miss this shot. We're gonna do 1 15th of a second, F8 100, two second timer. Sometimes filming a video and photographing is a little bit of a challenge. The sun's punched through just a little bit again. Let's fire up one more shot here. Uh, Exposure, 1 13th, F8. And in the end, this would have been the shot of the day, but I didn't lock my focus. Oh! Sometimes it can be frustrating when you're trying to multitask. Oh well, at least I've got the other great shots, but this would have been such a tasty shot if it only was in focus. Why don't we slide over to that side of the building and see what we can find there because we've got this shot. Got to move quick, but look at that sky right there. So I'm going to just play around here for a second and hopefully find a composition. I want to go low, low, low for this because I want to show that sky up above in the shot. So if I go low, what do we got? I'm going to do the three shot trick again. Two seconds, pop it, see what we get. And in the end, I think this is the actual shot of the night. I mean, don't get me wrong. I came out there for the green elevator at Sharple's shot. And I think those are awesome. But this shot with that light, that barn, 
Oh, that's just tasty. What do you think? Is it this shot that's the shot of the night? Or these granny elevator shots? I can't really decide. But when I see this old barn with that light, oh boy, like I said, that is tasty. You know, being a, a prairie kid, I grew up in a town of 5,000 people. I was born in 1970. I was a teenager in the 80s. My hometown had four of these. I think it was four, maybe five. They're gone now. And you can tell by the decay and the, the destruction of this building, the weather has, has done its damage to it. Not too many years from now, this building's gonna be gone as well. You know, I love going out and shooting the mountains. I've got Mount Rundle on my forearm. The Rocky Mountains, they call me. I love being out there. They're my favorite subject ever to shoot. But I'm also a prairie kid. So getting out and shooting old barns, old grain bins, old grain elevators matters to me just as much as shooting the mountains. See, that's the thing. You've got to find the beauty of the area where you're at. You may be a city photographer. You may be somebody who's just in the bald prairies. You may think, Hutch, you're so lucky you live so close to the Rocky Mountains. But the trick is to find the beauty in where you live. Just because it's mundane for you doesn't mean it's mundane for us. There are people that live in the prairies that just drive past stuff like this every day that don't think it's beautiful. That's the trick. Use your photographer's eye and show what's beautiful in your eye. Come out and preserve a place like this in your photography. Sharples, Alberta. In the meantime and in between time, stay healthy, stay safe. Catch you next time, guys. And as always, guys, please rock the subscribe button and ring the bells for notifications. We'll check you next time.